Hello, please, everyone. Welcome back to the sunny days. You can see the sun is slowly moving across me by the time we get to the last video in this series. I fear that I shall be completely yellow. I fear it. And you should as well, because then you'll have to endure that sight, but... We'll see. Alrighty, um, so we're going back with the Think Fast Masters Division competition. It's rhyming Hola Atodos Brute. Etu Brute. This is the man I'm fighting. We've got 30 seconds to pick. Holy shit, what do we got? Okay, I'm afraid of Politoed, Hydreigon, Scizor. Those are the big ones. Probably the Zorak's going to be in there. Let's think about this. What am I going to lead with? I'm going to go Kangaskhan for a catch-all. Um, I'm going to bring some bulk. Um, I think, actually, uh, Trevenant is going to be useful. And I think it's either Greninja or Neuven. I think Greninja is what we're going to roll with. So let's go. Alrighty. Oh, God. Ah! Now I'm Two Face. Ah! <laughs> okay. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, do leave a like as always if you would like to see it again on another day uploaded. Oh, he's going to lead off with Sturdy Golem. Uh, that's fine. That gives me ample opportunity to just uh, set up the power up punches. Straight off the bat, we're just going to mega power up punch. Um, Break the sturdy, get the super effective damage, get the plus two. It's the most multi-purpose move I could have made, and that is why I'm making it. So, um, after the power-up punches, we can follow it up with uh, double earthquake, uh, which should be able to knock the golem out. Um, I realize that it is very defensive, but um, definitely after that damage and after the plus two, uh, double earthquake will... Uh, will annihilate him. He's going to just straight up earthquake me. Uh, this dude's about 1400 so he's uh, a little bit below um, where your average person is usually. But we're going to earthquake and uh, see if we can just get rid of him. So that would be good. Uh, kicking it off in style. Let's see what else we have. Super effective indeed. Yes, well done game. Thank you for reminding and, and telling me such anecdotal stuff. Uh, Sizzle. Sizzle is a problem. That's why I brought Trevenant. I think Trevenant is going to be uh, definitely a, de a thing we need to use against Sizzle. Um, question is, is he going to just Mega and Bullet Punch? But we don't have much time to think. I think I'm going to... I'm going to Earthquake. I'm going to Earthquake and then we can follow it up. No, he's just going to straight up Bullet Punch. Is he banded? It doesn't look like he's anything, really. Um, that was relatively weak. I think. So, we finish him off, at least. Uh, Earthquake takes him out. Sizzle gone. I tell you what, like, if I bring Mega Kangaskhan, it does seem really unfair. But then again, in the sense that this is a competition, that's kind of how things should roll. Um, Alright, Hydreigon is definitely going to be faster than me. We might as well chip damage with Sucker Punch, try and get off as much as we can uh, before we go out into Greninja to finish things off. Uh, and he certainly should be able to... Wow! What is it with these rocky helmets everywhere? Hydreigon with rocky helmet? I'm not gonna knock. Okay, I am gonna. I'm gonna, now. I'm gonna knock it. He's running body slam. Hydreigon. Now I'm gonna knock it. <laughs> but I don't know. What are you gonna do? Like um, this is this is this is. You get what you get, and uh, make the best of it. I guess. Ice beam. Let's kill the Hydreigon, and let's move on to another opponent. That was a quick one. Three minutes in and out. I like it. I like how this thing moves. It's just, it doesn't give you, uh, it doesn't afford time for you to think about anything. You just gotta go with the flow and uh, and deal with what the cards you dealt. So, Etu Brute. Thank you uh, for that. Thank you for the points. Thanks for the points. And uh, I'll be moving on. Um, I don't know how much we have right now. How many we have? Uh, probably not very many. Oh, no, I don't. Why would I want to save that? No, thank you, battle video, but you can save anyway. I'll delete you later. All right, uh, we will continue battling. Let's do another one of these, which will be my fifth battle overall. Uh, because I didn't record the first one. I kind of accidentally stumbled into it uh, without realizing that it was actually going to make me play, and it did, so. Okay, we're against Roberto. I'm at 1526. We've got three wins to one loss. Not too shabby. And he is much more threatening. Definitely much more threatening. Um, looking at that, I need Greninja. I need... I think Tyranitar is needed for Talonflame. And... Hmm. 
I think I need Kanga maybe, although less so. Okay, so I'm gonna go Gren oh god damn it, Greninja, Titar, and then I'm gonna go Absol for priority sucker punch. He's got Gengar and Talonflame. Actually, no, that was stupid. Oh, Talonflame's gonna outspeed me anyway. But Gengar, that's what I really wanted uh, Absol for, is for Gengar. Um, priority sucker punch because that thing could be ruinous. Could be real. And actually, uh, I think that Mega Gengar is allowed. Uh, just like, you know, Mega Kangaskhan being allowed is a little bit stupid. Uh, Mega Gengar seems to be allowed, so... Um, and actually, I uh, get a nice lead here with uh, Greninja, who can uh, start just Dark Pulsing. That is going to kill the Gengar, whether it Mega Evolves or not. Um, at least I hope it does. Uh, if he's Sash, then we'll fuck my life. And, uh, I mean, actually, if, I, if he is Sash, then it's not too bad. Uh, unless he predicts, uh, uh, goes for the Focus Blast. In which case, I'm dead. Um, if he's just Shadow Balling, he was Dazzling Gleaming. Um, I think I can take that, actually, because it's uns... Oh, nope! <laughs> no, I can't! No, I can't. Uh, I definitely should have been going for the Surf there. Smarter play. Um, so we're going to go into Absol. Um, uh, definitely... Oh, well, I could Sword Stance here, but I don't feel the need to. I'm just going to Mega Sucker Punch, even though it's really obvious, and he's probably going to switch. He doesn't switch. Uh, he may Destiny Bond. He may ha be Sash D Bond lead Gengar, which would make sense. It makes sense to run that sort of thing in this competition. Is it going to fail? No, it's not going to fail. I just kick him out. All right, good. All right, so Gengar's out of the way. Um, I seem to be just a thing of thinking Greninja's like all safe, and then Greninja dies. I probably should have run something with Focus Sash in this. It does seem like an item that is very valuable, and I am really neglecting. But um, no matter. That's that's what happens. Um, I think Brave Bird, oh jeez, uh, this is perfect, this is why I brought T-Tar. Um, Talonflame is why I bought, uh, ah, obviously he's going to U-turn though. Why did I switch? He's obviously going to U-turn. Rash plays, this is the thing, when you're under time pressure, you got to keep it going, um, and you make the stupid decisions, but U-turn is the obvious play and he does make it, so. I could have stayed in there, I, I actually, I probably couldn't have lived it, but I could have sucker punched and taken the Talonflame... I may have been able to take the Flame out there if I just stuck to my guns and uh, gone to Sucker Punch, but it turns out it's going to go into Rotom, uh, which uh, is unfortunate. What I can do, though, is I have rocks, so I can throw those down. I really should have uh, popped an Assault Vest on this T-Tar. Um, I ended up giving it Lumberry um, just because I... Uh, well... You can tell why. It's because uh, I, I, the, the multi-items thing, and I, I had lefties on it originally, and then I gave it uh, lump. But if I had if I had a salt vest, I couldn't have gone for the south rock there, obviously. So, um, well, I mean, it's kind of I've, I've kind of lost at this point, which is a bit of a shame. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and Stone Edge. Uh, if he misses a hydro, uh, he doesn't doesn't end up doing that. Um, and. Going into Absol, he can't Willow me, which is nice because the because the Mega uh, and the Magic Bounce. Uh, what I can do is I can I could try and Sword Stance, but it's a little futile with the fact that he has Talonflame and can Priority Brave Bird me anyway. Uh, so I'm just gonna straight up play rough and um, and see how that works out for the situation. Let's see how much it does. Oh, that does nothing. That's not good. It's not good. Oh. Getting my phone. Wow, that did a lot. Mmm. Hot damn, that's, a, that's some damage. That is some damage. Uh, at the very least, I can sucker punch the abs. Uh, sucker punch the Rotom. Try and get a crit here. Uh, that could be. Nope. He is going to rest. Wow. He's just gonna. He's just gonna shit all over me. He's just gonna be like, nope. I'm not letting you do anything. I'm just gonna fucking. You know, here's my chesto. Here's my resto. Thank you and good night. Uh, and literally good night. Oh, oh, good morning, dear sir. I see you've woken up uh, from your merry rest, indeed. Uh, uh, let's just suck a punch now. Uh, it's it's over because uh, he has half flame. So I really, really should have stayed in the sucker. That was a poor play. It was kind of rashly made. Uh, but if I had stayed in and sucker punch the talent flame, I could have been in a uh, much better position. Because uh, I don't know. I don't think talent flame can really take a sucker punch. Um, so. A little bit suckish, but uh, there you have it. That's going to be us for today. So thank you for watching the Think Fast competition. MBZ does it really quick and does stuff. Um, you can uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.